Hi, it's Hopkey, and welcome to this screencast looking at a new feature we've added to Pano 2 VR version 6 beta 4, and it's this new quick share button. And it's for you guys to share your panoramas to social media. Um, so how it works is we drop in a panorama and it needs a little bit of work so you can see that it's not quite level I need to patch it and do some other little bits and pieces so the idea is that I'm going to level it up first so I'm going to press the L key and I can then just drag the images up and down so I've got my vertical straight in the panorama there we go so that's yeah it's taking some reference points so that's my pano leveled. I now need to patch the pano, so I'm just going to change the viewer to patch mode, double click. You'll see it's not quite snapping to the um, Nadia, that's because I've applied leveling. So I just need to select uh, apply the patch after leveling. There we go, so that's it now done. And I'm just going to just add a little image on it just to cover the hole at the bottom. I could do various things like patch it properly, but we'll just, for the sake of this video, just add an image. There we go, so that's it patched so that's my logo added right so that's now leveled and patched the other thing I want to look at is the starting view now if we click go to this this would be the starting view if I was just to share this image right now which I don't want I actually want my default view to be this monument so I'm going to move it over there and click set and that's that now last things I want to do is check out the metadata and GPS um, so if I open up the tour map, you'll see, let's just redock that in so I can see a bit more of it. Um, if I select satellite view, you'll see that it's showing me standing in the middle of this green, which is not correct. So what I'm gonna do is just zoom in a tad and I'm roughly standing about there. If I spin it round, you can see just in front of the building here. So yeah, that's right. But the other thing you'll notice is that the north is not set correctly it's showing me looking up the road rather than looking at the building so what i'm going to do is spin it around so i can find a reference point so there's the edge of this big building here which is this bit i'm now going to hold down the n key in the uh, on the keyboard spin it around so i'm now pointing the arrow or the radar beam at the point of that roof which i've done let go and that's my north now set the last thing i want to do is just check the metadata so click on user data I'm saying that it's the village green it's La at the right time it's me so that's all fine all I need to do now is just click this uh, quick share button it gives me the option to change the file name and where to save it quick uh, click save and it's now going to remap and produce an image with all those attributes for me to share so I'm going to just open up Facebook all right so that's that and I'm going to click on create a new post and drag my image in when it saved it it saved it with an underscore share of course you could change it to whatever you want and let's just say something about this so the layer village green okay as soon as it's uploaded I'm gonna click share so we can see what it looks like in the feed there we go so that's it it's uploaded you can see it's opened with my default view as required it's nice and level and we've got our patch so that's that's the you know I haven't had to add an output or anything just added some attributes and we've just exported by using the quick share button right the other thing the quick share button will do is it will um, take into consideration the viewing parameters and if I use viewing limits so in this case in the same pano I might want to write a blog post or write something in my Facebook feed about this building here which is our local pub the um, the layer Fox so I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to set the viewing parameters to there so that's now my default view so now what I'm going to do is select show limits and I don't really want people you know I want people to concentrate on this building so I don't really want them panning up and down so I'm going to lock the current view top and bottom so I've just set those so if I try and click up and down I can't but I can go side to side if I didn't want people to go side to side I could lock these views here but what I'm going to say is I don't mind people looking as far to the left as this point so I move over and click that and perhaps as far to the right as that point so I'm going to click set there alright so that's 
basically my limits. The last thing I really want to do is change the metadata because it's no longer the village green, it's for the layer fox. So the layer fox, there we go. And that's that. If I click the quick share button now, again, it gives me the option to change the name and where to save it. Remaps and outputs, and it's remapping with all the um, viewing limits taken into consideration. So it's cropped the image. There we go. So now, when I save this to my timeline, it will obey those viewing limits. So let's just write something about this. So it's the, the layer fox pub right and as soon as it's uploaded I'll click share and you can see it's uploading now it opens with the new default view that I wanted you'll see here on this little icon that it's a partial pano so I can only go as far as this point and it stops so that's my viewing limits obeyed and I can't drag it up and down there you go that's how to use the new um, quick share button and as always thanks for watching